What's up everyone? It's Sydney and this is your 45 minute lower body burnout workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up everyone? Welcome to your 45 minute lower body workout. We're going to be targeting quads, hamstrings, and glutes today. I've got a couple different optional pieces of equipment over here that you can pull in if you have them. First, I have my heavy and medium glute resistance bands, and I also have my sliders. There'll be a couple moves where I'll challenge you to use the sliders in a lunge. So if you wanna do that, you can. If not, this still is gonna be a stabilization exercise or unilateral work where you'll have one working leg at a time. This just kinda adds a little bit more of a challenge, okay? So also your water and your sweat towel, and then our dumbbells. We'll be doing things like squats and lunges, so we'll probably stick in the 15 to 25 area for those. At the end, we have some glute bridges, so I'll probably bump up a little bit, anywhere from 30 to 50 for those, but pick weights or combinations of weights that work for you, and let's go ahead and jump into the warm-up, all right? Hands on your hips. We're gonna sink it back, slight little bend in your knees first. In three, two, one, let's go. And squeeze back up to the top. Great job. Throughout the workout today, I'm gonna challenge you to keep some time under tension. Okay, the last lower body workout of tier number one, which is crazy to think. Yes, we'll still be using our legs throughout the next couple of workouts, but the last isolated lower body workout. So I really want you to push hard to focus on balance. Focus on one leg, strength at a time. One more, sink it back, 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 back. And hands down on the floor. Take your left leg back, right leg up. Let's go down. We do have some lunges today. We've got a squat and lift. I just want you to mobilize here. Down, stretches your hip flexor. Push it up, you've got your hamstrings. Great job. There'll be modifications up there for every exercise, but if on any lunges, I'll show you the body weight move and I'll show you how to make it a little slower, dial it back. But if you need to sub out a lunge for a squat or a hinge, you can do that, make it your own. Okay, try to keep the same unilateral focus though. Let's switch legs and keep rocking. Great work. Don't rush through this, really feel it stretching. Great job. And we'll get into some activation up next, but I want you to get your mobility on right now. There you go, let's go down one more time and up one more time, here we go. Sink it down, down, down. And take it up, last one. Good, keep your legs right here, walk into the center. Nice wide feet, let's bend and straighten. Good, push off your bent leg, stretch your straight leg, three, Two, one, good. Heel toe your feet in just a bit more and sink your hips down into a squat. Nice open hips. Got 45 second work periods today. Just enough time to transition to the other side. Okay, or to switch weights if you need to. Good, stand up, heels to glutes. Great work, four, three, keep the open hips, two, and one, good. Hands on your tailbone, big push. Nice work, good thorough warm up here. All right, great job. Let's rock into exercise number one. You've got a squat to leg raise. Alternating every time. Squat, raise. You can do this with a dumbbell, a band, or both. We'll go in two, one. Here we go. Sit, drive the heel. Sit, drive the heel. Good, make sure you don't lean away from the lifted leg. Okay, stay here, lift with your glutes. Good, and keep your toe flexed up toward your knee. Great work, lead with the heel. Good, 
Good work. Seven more seconds. I challenge you to rest. Grab a little bit heavier weight or band. Two, one, 15 seconds rest. If you can grab a dumbbell or two or a heavier band, progress this one, okay? Challenge yourself more from round one to two. Same thing in round two to three. Round number two, let's go. Good. If you've got a band on your legs, your knees are fighting against each other to fight outward. Okay, the whole point is of the band is to make sure you're not relaxing inward. Okay, if you're not pushing against the band with both legs, it's useless to have the band on. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. One more round. If you can go up again, let's do it. Form over everything. Okay, so if you need to stay right there, stay right there. Great technique, great execution. Three, two, let's go. Good, straight torso, one leg lifts, one leg stabilizes. Good work. Don't lean away from the lifting leg. Stay straight up. Eight. Three, two, and rest. Great job. Next exercise, grab some water. We've got a left leg squat. Band can go down, okay? Left leg only, right here, okay? Dumbbell in your hand or here, or you can place your foot back like a Bulgarian split squat. Same thing, it should feel like a single leg squat, left leg only. Let's go in four. I'm gonna start with my 20. Two, one, sit it down. Good, and in this single leg isolation, make sure you're also not discreetly pushing off of this leg, unless you need that help. Really try and isolate it. Great work. Another thing that will help is to have a box or a bench behind you, have a target to sit down into. Four, one more good squat, two, one, rest. We're gonna stay on this left leg, two more rounds. I know it's a little more fun to go left, right, left, right, left, right, but really isolate, endurance. Okay, if you can go up, let's go together. Two, one, left leg again. Come on. Good, we really gotta get the most out of this workout today. Show yourself how far you've come since week number one of Summertime Fine. That very first week where we were still kind of figuring out how to balance, how to work one leg at a time. Now you know, now we go. Keep working. Good. 10. Two more, ready? Two, one, rest. You've got one more round. Can you, yes, I'm gonna ask you again, go up. If the answer is maybe, Let's try it. If the answer is yes, let's try it. Four, three, last one, left leg. Strong, strong, strong. Let's go. Be motivated by your strength. You're in the workout now. There's no need to think about, oh man, this is hard. You're in it. Be motivated by being here. Be motivated by your strength. Do not let your back round and relax. Strong. 
Come on, left leg, push the ground away from you. That's it, seven. One more, two, one. Great job, let's go, the other leg. Right side, same thing, exact same thing. Split squat or standing squat. Let's go in five, you're ready. Three, two, one. Come on, right leg, let's go. Good, watch my hips, back and then down. So I don't bend my knee first, I bend my hip first. Back is strong. You don't have to go to any certain depth. Just sit back and down. Don't let your shoulders relax, keep them pulled back. Then squeeze this glute forward as you push the floor away. Three, two, one. Good job, 15 seconds rest. Go up if you can. I'm gonna go to my 25. This is all about how hard you work. Not about the number. You push hard. Push that floor away from you with power. Let's go. Round two. Also, be conscious of your traps. Don't let them lift and round. Keep them back and relaxed. Shoulder blades are thinking flat and flexed back. Fifteen, come on, core's working hard as well. Keep your hips and your shoulders level. One more. Two, one, let's go. Last round right here. You can do this. One more time. Right leg, and then we're gonna go to some deadlifts. Two feet on the ground. Ready? Three, two, one. One, come on. Come on, I'm with you, stay here. Stay working, stay moving. Stay on your right leg. Last 15. Seven. Two, one, and rest. Amazing job. We're gonna go for two legs on the ground here, Romanian deadlift. I'm gonna start with my 230s. Okay, hinge, it's all about the hinge. Back, strong, take your hips away and back up, okay? Don't let the shoulders round, don't squat. Flat, flat, you think of a triangle. Right here between my legs, my torso, and my arms. Not here, not here, strong, okay? We'll go in 10 seconds, grab water if you need it. Just regular, two feet on the ground, Romanian deadlifts, four, Three, two, one. Come on, dig the heels and let's go. Our depths are gonna be different. It's determined by your hamstring flexibility and your glutes and your back, okay? So if you're only getting to your knees and you squeeze back in, totally fine. If you get lower, keeping your right posture, totally fine. Feel the stretch, squeeze back so your hips meet your dumbbells again. Do not round your back to lift. Don't lift with your upper body. Four. Rest, great job. If you can go heavier, here's your time. Same thing, we're doing straight sets today, okay? 
I'm gonna get the most out of you. Two more rounds through this. We go in three, two, one, let's go. Dig your heels in. Come on. Squeeze it back up. Don't let your back relax. This is as much a back exercise as it is a lower body. Keep it strong. Two. One, great job. Can you go up? It's our last round right here. Let's go in five. Ready? Three, two, one. Beautiful, strong back, let's go. Ten more seconds. Five. Two. One. And rest. Amazing work. Grab some water if you need it. And we're gonna take this to a single leg exercise, okay? So you have the option to use a slider. You will not be sliding very far away from your body, okay? so. I'm gonna take my 20 pound dumbbell. We're gonna do a right leg deadlift first. Left toe on the slider, okay? It's gonna look like this, very minor slide. Okay, I want you to keep this flexed position of your knee, swing right back up and under. Okay, six seconds. We go in four. Right leg stays, two, one, let's go. Take it back. Squeeze it in. Now, why am I doing this with the slider? To get you to only use your leg on the ground. To emphasize this one leg working really hard, your hips going back, and you bringing them right back under your ribs. It's not to put an extra stretch in the uh, slider leg. Shouldn't be going so far away. Just about three inches behind your front heel. Just to isolate. Three, two, one, rest. Great job. Same thing, two more rounds. I'm gonna keep this leg working. You're doing great. If you can go up, let's do it. Keep the focus here. Three, two, one, come on. Dig this heel down, right leg. Your heel should be pushing hard to bring your hips right back over the heels, under the ribs. Eight, seven, Three, two, one, rest. Good job, one more time here. If you can go heavier, I want you to try. <sighs> Last round, then we switch to the other leg. Like I said, slider, totally optional. Just want you to focus on this leg only. Ready, let's go.
Nice work, come on, keep it up. Nine. Last one, three, two, one. Beautiful. Same thing on the other leg. Go right into it in about 10 seconds. Okay, I know you can. Left leg stays, right leg slides just a little bit. Or step back and tap. Let's go. Make sure also your slider is going straight back, not to the side, okay? Right behind your heel. Back, straighten back up. There you go. One leg at a time, one glute stretches and squeezes. Two, one, great work. Two more rounds of that, grab water if you need it. You've got about nine seconds. Two, one, let's go. Great work, hips stay level. So don't let one of them slide back and open like this. And right here, hinge straight up again. A good way to make sure you're not using your slider leg too much also is to keep it bent. If you straighten it and start pulling it here, might be using it more than you need to. Two, one, one last round. Let's go. All right, ready? Three, two, one, come on. Last round of deadlifts. Squeeze those hips back over your heel. Come on, focus. Don't lift your chest before your hips come forward. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Amazing work. All right. <sighs> Great job. I hope you felt that single leg really isolating on the working leg side, okay? We're gonna step off the sliders next and go for a left leg lunge, pass through. You're gonna start with a lighter weight, somewhere around 10, 15 pounds. You're gonna pass through. Left leg goes forward. Okay, so you lunge forward, pass it under, stand up, same thing, pass it under, stand up. If you need to modify, you can either stay there, go up and down and pass when you're at the bottom, or take the dumbbell out of it and just touch fingers. Okay, let's go. 45 seconds, left leg. You need to have a weight that is manageable for you to sit down there for a couple seconds, then push back. No body rolls back, okay? So no dipping back and rolling in. Stay over the hip, power this leg, back up. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Great job, if you can go heavier, let's try it. Okay, this time, two passes. So you step out, go over, over, then stand. 
Okay, spend some time down there. Let's go. Pass, pass, then push. Good job. Eight, seven, two, one, rest. One more time. Same thing. Going to the left, left leg, I mean, pass under one, two, three, two. One, let's go. Good, 15 more seconds. I know this one's tough. Five, four, three, good job. Two, one, and rest. Whew. And let's go to the other leg, same thing. First, you just step out and pass it once. Good work. Two, one, right leg, come on. Good work. Think of sitting in that squat. Take your time out there so you don't rush and wobble. Sit, grab it, push. That's it, keep your knee out in front. Seven, six, two, one. Great job. All right, here we go back. Two passes, step out, pass one, pass two, back in again. Ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Stabilize while you're out there. Yes, it's intentional. You might be feeling wobbly. Fight for it. There's no rush in this. It's a fight for the balance. It's a fight for the control. Come on, come on, five, two, one, one more time here, and then we move on. Big deep breath, you're doing amazing. One last time here, and we go on to the next one. Ready? Come on, we got this. Two, one, let's go. Step out past one, two, and back. That's it, feel that control. When you slow it down and recognize where you are, recognize how you should feel, and then you execute the push, that's where it all starts. This is us, building the foundation for our true, strongest self. Seven. Good work. Two, one. Amazing job. Grab some water. Whew. Very proud of you. Grab a drink. We're gonna introduce the sliders again.
And we're back to, again, needing control. This is the whole point of all these slider moves. You keep the control, okay? So we have a reverse lunge and lateral lunge, starting with the leg that you were just stabilizing with. That one's gonna go on the slider, okay? So we have reverse, up, lateral. Notice the difference. This leg is always working. Normally we do lateral lunges, step out and bend. Different this time. You're shooting the leg away. You're over top your bent leg already, okay? So reverse and lateral. We go back, this leg works again. Stay here, come back in. 10 seconds and we're gonna go using the left leg first. If you wanna use a dumbbell, feel free. Get the movement down first. Reverse and lateral, let's go. Good, just think of it as another way to move your leg away from a single leg squat here. Three, two, one, rest. Yes, you're gonna stay on this leg. I'm serious, control is everything. So if you had a dumbbell and you're fighting all over the place for control, leave the dumbbell out of this round. Okay, left leg is your powerhouse. Two, one, let's go. Good, stay over here, left leg. 15 seconds. Just keep coming back up onto your heel. Hip over the heel, every rep. Three, two, rest. Great job. Last round, you can stay rocking just like you are or challenge, option. Take it down, go back, go out then stand, okay? Just an option. Let's go, two, one. Good work, keep that knee out out front. Great job. Ten. Good. Five, four, two, one. Rest. Great job, left leg. Thirty seconds rest. We go to the same thing on your right leg. Left leg moves. Okay. Reverse and lateral. Ready? Come on, right leg. Power, power, power. Slider or not, stabilize. Two, one, let's go. Get your balance, get your groove. Keep your knee out over your pinky and the toe right beside of it. I'm telling you, if you get a good relationship with your mind and your core, it controls everything. Okay, it's back. See how my hip is behind my heel right now? When I stand up, I'm only thinking, get this over my heel again. Okay, same thing on the lateral. Back, get it over my heel again. Two, one, rest. Great job. 
One round down. Same thing, round number two. You got this, come on. Four, three, two, one, come on. One last round. The option to go there, back, down, then up is there. Keep it to your control. You go back and you go to the side with that same leg. Right leg is working hard. Ready, let's go. Push, 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 right leg, come on. Last 10 seconds, come on, give me 10 more. 10 more seconds, that is. <laughs> Six, five, three, two, one. Beautiful job. Very proud of you there. Grab some water, and we're going back to the floor for some glute work, all right? Finishing it at a bridge circuit here. No sliders on this one. You've got glute bridges, glute bridge abductions, glute bridge pulses. I'm gonna go with my glute resistance band. I'm gonna do my heavy and my, I'm gonna start with my 25 pound dumbbell. Okay, seven seconds, you just go up for a regular glute bridge. Okay, right here, two, one, come on. 45 seconds right here. Squeeze your cheeks from the bottom. Don't wait until you get to the top of the bridge and then engage your glutes like this. Ugh. Okay, they come together at the bottom. That's how you lift. Keep your belly button pulled down. Don't lead up with the tummy. Lead up with the bottom of your glutes. Eight, seven, next time you go up there, stay up there. Four, three, stay here, knees go out. Let's go. If you wanna remove the dumbbell, feel free, or you can keep it on. Out, out. Good, the bottom of your glutes are squeezed together. Great job, 10 more seconds, and you're gonna drop the outward motion and you're just gonna hold it up at the top. Two, one, hold right here. There you go, just stay. 45 seconds right here. And if you wanna go here and here, that's okay, but I don't want you to drop. Also don't want you to let your belly go here, okay? If your glutes are below your back, you're in the wrong position. Glutes should be higher than your tailbone. Hold tight for me for 15 more seconds, then we drop down. Six, five, 
seven. Come on, come on, come on, don't drop. Three, two, one. Now you can drop for 15 seconds. Great work. We've got that two more times. Full range of motion again in eight. Two, one, and we're up. Let's go. All the way up, all the way down. Good, great job, great job. This is it, lower body day, come on. Let's set ourselves up for the best glutes, the strongest legs. Ten more seconds, you go up and you pulse outward. Five. Two, one, go up and stay up and out, out. Good, I'm taking my dumbbell off my hips. Good work. You got about 15 more seconds left. And after this, you're just gonna hold 10, nine, get rid of the abduction. In four, three, two, one, just hold right here, stay, stay. Come on. You feel yourself start to fall, drop the resistance. Good, you're right there. Come on, last 15. Nine, eight. Three, two, Rest, good job, here we go, this is it. This is it, finish out tier one, leg day. Legs are sweating, everything is sweating. We can do this. Last round, 45 seconds, full range of motion bridge. Let's get those glutes up. Two, one, come on. Great job, come on. Think about it, last round, you can fight through this. Last 15 seconds, you've got it. Good, outward pulses in five. Two, one, let's go. Out, out. Glutes are squeezing tighter together. You should feel this on the top part of your glutes, glute medius, the big part of your glute, glute maximus, and you should feel it also the hamstring tie-in area where your hamstring and your glute meet together. You should feel it all over is what I'm saying. 13 seconds and you just hold. Eight. Ready? Four, three, two, do not drop. Let's go, hold, hold, hold. This is it, right here. Think about your glutes coming up and under. Push through the burn, push through the burn. Come on, do not stop. Squeeze tighter. We're in this together, come on. I'm not gonna drop, I know you're not gonna drop. Come back up, come on. 15 more seconds, yes we can. Let's go, I'll count it down with you. 15, 14, nine, 
Eight, count with me. Seven, six, five, come on, four, higher. Three, two, one. Drop gently and bring your knees to your chest. You have made it to your cool down. <laughs> oh, amazing, amazing job. Pull, pull, pull. Squeeze, hug your legs for just a second and let them down. Beautiful work. Stretch your legs right out front. And exhale, good stretch in the hamstring and the glutes and the back. Very proud of you today. Way to work. You finished off tier number one, last leg exercise of tier number one, I should say. We've got some more great workouts to finish out this month and keep that focus on your unilateral strength, your core, your balance. I'm so proud of you. I've seen so many comments saying, I feel so much better than when we started this month. I feel more balanced. I feel more connected to my core, to my muscles. I'm able to last throughout the workouts, which means this program is working for you. You're doing it, okay? It's designed to make you feel those things that you're saying, so you are doing it. <sighs> Come on back up. We'll pull right leg in, straight leg here. I wanna give you a good cool down stretch, so if you've got about two more minutes, just stick with me here. Good, reach out to your left leg. Reach over with your right arm. Try and get out to your shin or your heel or your toe so we get a good stretch in the back. This program is designed to make you feel all the things that you guys are saying to each other in the comments, to me on Facebook, on Instagram, okay? All the things that you're feeling are designed to happen to you so that we can build on them in month number two, in month number three. So you're working. You are working this program. Oh, great work. And just keep trusting in this process, okay? Wherever you're at in your nutrition journey, start there, okay? You don't have to race to the most extensive, most extreme, most any type of restriction or deprivation in your nutrition. A lot of us are at the beginning stages of just kind of cleaning up the foods that we're eating so they have great nutritional value to us. Okay, feet in together, pull your chest over top of your heels. All right, if you're there, don't worry about supplements, don't worry about meal timing, don't worry about your macros. Maybe just get great quality food that you cook, that you prepare, okay? Even the preparation, that's a great place to start. Okay, now that we've had month number one, leg day, we've got about four more workouts left in tier one. And I know everything that you've built in this month without a doubt is gonna help you in the next month, okay? And I want you to achieve your goals more than anything. Pull your heel to your glute as you come on up to standing. Keep stretching, keep moving throughout the rest of the day, throughout the rest of your week. Great work. You've used a lot of energy today, so make sure you go forward within the next hour to get some food in your body, okay? Whether that's a protein shake, a smoothie, a great meal that you've made and prepared, whatever it is, protein and carbohydrates, your body needs to replenish these so that it can fuel itself in energy, it can recover side to side with your hips as you just breathe and just focus on being proud. I've overloaded you with advice here in the last part of the workout, but I know keeping it simple and keeping it consistent is everything, okay? Roll forward and just take a big deep breath in and out. One more time, in and out. Slowly roll up to the top. Simplicity equals consistency and consistency equals results. So start here, start now, start today with your simple, consistent actions so that we can get you to your goals. We can get you to the results that you want. I know I'm working right as hard as you, right along with you, and I know we can do this together. These results, they don't just happen by accident. You rock into them, you work hard for them, you want them, you deserve them, you can get them as long as you keep showing up. Simple consistency yields results. Okay, I'll be right back here for you tomorrow. Don't forget to engage with the video, with the channel in some way. If you crush this workout right here, right now, 
Go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Share it with all your friends and I will see you back here tomorrow. Have a great day. Just watch me.